I don't know why I'm making this into tutorial. I can't cook. The room is filling with um, smoke. That, easy, eight out of 10. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So as you can see from the title, this is a bit different today. You're gonna cook with me or, well, you're gonna watch me attempt to cook is probably gonna be more accurate. So I'm gonna preface this video and say like, I'm not a cook, okay? <laughs> Cooking's not my strong point. It's just something I've never really put time into. I did it at school a little bit and I was like average at best. Can't really bake either, so my talents don't lie there. <laughs> with cooking, it's one of those things where I learned how to do like three meals and then just cook them all the time. So I can't actually cook anything new because I'm just so used to like doing the things that I know and like so I wanted to kind of go outside my comfort zone a little bit and try and make new things so that's what this video is basically I'm gonna cook three meals in this video each meal is a recipe that I've adapted or it's my own recipe and they should all cost less than one pound to make per person so they're all cheap eats basically which is my big priority when i'm cooking and they're also easy like cba to cook anything that requires loads of ingredients and loads of time so yeah basically that's what we're going to do today and they're also i guess kind of inspired and in going along the same thread of the articles that i've been writing recently i've been writing some money saving articles they've gone in the national papers here in the uk as well as the regional papers and the theme of those were saving money on your food shop going vegetarian oh that's another thing all of these meals are vegetarian and vegan but if you want to add meat in just do that instead and yeah they all cost less than a pound so they're kind of moving on from the articles and let's just let's just cook them today we're gonna do risotto which is one of my favorite foods um it just takes forever to make okay ingredients wise and what i've got going so far pan frying pan oil then i'm gonna do the stock red onion I'm using these soy meat free pieces instead of chicken, but you can use chicken. Measured out my risotto rice, and this is about 160 grams, because I'm doing this for two people, because I'll have it tomorrow for lunch. Passata, butter, also need cheese, but I don't have any cheese, I've just realized, so, but the cheese goes in with the butter normally. That's pretty much it, ingredients wise. So basically, let me just measure out 400 ml in here. I literally don't have any other way to measure it, so I'm using a smoothie thing. To then put the stock in and let that kind of like do its thing for a little while. I don't know why I'm making this into tutorial, I can't cook. <laughs> and stir. Onion time. I'm literally like crying right now because I'm too impatient to cut the onion properly. Oh man, I don't know how Emma Chamberlain does this shit. Okay, I think that's gonna be the best angle we can get. Alright, something just occurred to me now that that's loud so uh, this is gonna be fun for you to try and hear me in it so this recipe i have honestly only been cooking it since like august 2020 basically i went through a whole phase i was just bins watching do you know the acampo videos um when he was on this morning and i just kind of fell in love with the way he cooks and the foods he cooks so I wanted to try some of his recipes and the first one I tried was his mama's chicken risotto which is basically this recipe which is essentially similar um, but it's just slightly different ingredients and very simplified <laughs> but it just became basically one of my favourite foods to make and I always think I know professional chefs and that are going to disagree but there are some ingredients you put in food like when you put alcohol in food when you put certain herbs and spices like yeah it can improve the food but like they're not essential because i can't bother to like have all that stuff in the kitchen so oh, that's gone cold uh it's going well my eyes are still watering the room is filling with um smoke because i burn i burn my onions uh so i had to open the window <laughs> very typical of how i can't cook <laughs> okay this is where we're at the rice is in the salt is in the stock is in the chicken the soy is in so we just have to like Keep putting the stock in and stuff. That's literally it for like 20 minutes now. Literally in the little interims when I'm not filming, I've just been listening to Sledgehammer by Peter Gabriel, and I swear to God, that's literally one of my favourite songs right now. I came across it the other day, and I'm like, how have I not been playing this my whole life? How has this been slept on? How is this not my playlist? So <clears throat> that's what I've been listening to. And also, oh my gosh, I went on a whole rampage of 80s music the other day added it all, all to my playlist. So I added in Enjoy the Silence to Pesh Mode. Uh, nothing's gonna stop us now, Starship. 
I want to know what love is for and against all odds, full cards, I love Phil Collins. Uh, Gloria by Laura Branigan. Owner of a Lonely Heart by Yes. Exquisite song, exquisite. And uh, Drive, the cars, classic, that's because I watched Live Aid again. And All Around the World by Lisa Sansfield. I'm going to say it now, if you haven't heard any of those songs, oh my gosh, listen to them please, because wow. Dishing up now. Oh, the wrist strength I need for this, crikey. That's the finished piece. I'm actually using my voice, that's... Uh, normally, I would do like cheese and I would do a bit of parsley, but like don't have either of those, so I'm making do. That's pretty much the dish done. Uh, it takes me half an hour to make it and like 30 seconds to eat it all. I'm gonna watch... <laughs> I laugh because it's so lame. I'm gonna watch um, some property shows on Netflix. Do you know, I've gotten really, really into interior design shows like uh, Dream Home Makeover, and I think it's called Stay Here on Netflix. It's like the modern Homes Under the Hammer again. So I'm gonna watch those. And by watch, I mean binge watch. I literally watched two seasons in a day yesterday. And I have something to eat. So I'll see you in the next recipe. Okay, bye. So hello and welcome. Uh, I've just had a shower. <laughs> Come back from a run. Basically, it's just rice and sweet and sour peppers. So that's what I wanna make. It looks pretty easy to do. After chopping the onion, I added in the pepper. It's pretty much just eyeball it. I don't bother with measurements. Bang in some tomato ketchup for kind of a sauce and then hope for the best. That's what turned the gloop into the gloop. And then I just boiled some normal rice. Okay, so I feel like it's not a million miles away, but it's also not my best work. Um, it's okay, I think. Taste testing. I feel like how bad can it be? I am not that bad of a cook. Then again. Do you know what? I don't even know why I sell myself short. That, that, easy, eight out of 10. 8.5, I might even go as far to say to give it. That, is some of my finest work. Okay, visually, I'm with you. But, oh, if you could only taste it. I wanna try one of Miguel Barclay's recipes. So I think I'm gonna do his take on a piece of frittata, so it's like, he does it with um, sun-dried tomatoes and mozzarella. I didn't really like either of those, so I'm going to do peppers and mature cheddar, and we'll see if that actually complements what he's trying to achieve, and I'm going to make that now. Okay, so this is what we're trying to achieve here, guys. These are the ingredients that are hopefully going to get us there. This is me cracking eggs, attempting to be a professional, and then checking to see if the pepper is done. It was not done. Banging in the egg. Wow, satisfying shot, not going to lie. Yep. It looks like an omelette. Then I added in the cheese, bang that in the oven. I didn't even know you could put pans in the oven like this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Pulled it out, that's what it looks like. Mm, yeah, exactly. Oh, Miguel, I'm sorry. I just feel like there's a common theme, that, like it's a good effort, but it's a bit burnt. <laughs> but then if it's anything like last time, it tasted so good regardless of presentation. So we can only hope. We can only hope for that today. This is what we tried to create, and this is how it turned out. Like, I mean, yeah, let's just try it. My unqualified chef opinion is just like, isn't this just like an omelette though? You know, perhaps not. Or perhaps it is. It's cool, right? Like, to be honest, yeah, not mad about it, but not wild about it either. Doing this with chili, doing this with peppers, not so much. I don't think I vibe the peppers, if I'm honest, but overall, six out of 10, like it's all right for lunch, it's all right for a breakfast, but I'm not like amazed. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. I feel like I'm doing one of those like end pieces to TV shows when they're like, and ah, you've made it this far, thanks for watching and subscribe, blah, 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 but you know, subscribe. Uh, if you want more cooking videos or you want me to share more recipes because obviously in the articles that I'm writing at the moment They are centered around like cheap eats So if you want me to share more cheap eats and not necessarily cook them But to share them or just like money saving tips generally let me know in the comments below And that's the end of this video Hope you enjoyed me burning all three recipes that I made and not knowing portion control at all and um, just generally Exhibiting that I'm not a cook so if that's been fun for you, cool. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye. <laughs>